All right. Hello, everyone. Happy holidays, if you celebrate them. Might not be any kind of religion, but I certainly do, and I love them. That's something I love. But hey, uh, I wonder if that's like Morse code for something, how the sun's pulsing on my camera. But uh, I wanted to talk about effective ways in raising your own vibration, uh, repairing, quite simply repairing. Uh, people will over classify things or put their own words on things to make them fit for them. I'm going to make this very easy for myself and just put it in as simple terms as I feel. Um, lately, like, of course, I've been healing with mantras uh, in my own mind to, I mean, it calms down your, your anxiety. You were, uh, and by anxiety, I don't mean being panicky, I don't mean a panic disorder, I mean anxiety as in if your mind is over chattery, uh, oming, I just ohm now in my head. I have friends that will just ohm as loud as they possibly can when you get near them, but in my head, I will just continue continuously ohm very quickly, slowly sometimes, depends on how still I am. Uh, but oming, uh, sometimes I'll attach to the visualization of having several monks, like just probably over a couple thousand monks standing in a temple, and they're all inside of a golden temple in my head. And uh, every time I say Om in my head, another one of them has a candlelight in front of them. And eventually that room is full of gold. But I never forget in the first place that it's a golden room. Uh, there's a lot of magic to be had in <laughs> a lot of magic to be had in uh, visualization. Uh, really, like I've realized, I've always been kind of imagining. It's always been my imagination, but you know that whole phrase, "It's just your imagination." Pretty much, you look around, it's just anybody's imagination. Uh, anything ever created has existed in imagination before anything else, and even then. It takes your mind or whatever you're using to process this, to be fed this information that is surrounding us, that is within us, and to project it out and see this way. Uh, it's just your imagination. So here, back to back to where we're going. Visualization. Visualization is uh, this thing is like awesome. Uh, but visualization is, uh, is very powerful in, in, I feel, healing yourself, and you can heal others, although I found, uh, oh yeah, definitely, <laughs> I found, uh, I'll, I'll overexert myself with that, if I do it too much, this is a fair precursor, you yourself might get sick if you're just going around trying to heal everyone's shit. Normally I'm, uh, the visualization accompan accompanied with that relates to heart chakra expansion, uh, I'll just say golden chakra expansion, um, purifying light, sometimes I've had visualizations of water, I mean that's clarity, all colors, um, And it's like perfect temperature out this time of year. I'm in Florida, and it's crazy. The winter has been so good. Um, but visualiza visualization is a very powerful tool. Uh, I've. It's really just you go with, go with your imagination. Like, I found that things in my dreams have actually been able to translate quite well here. You know, uh, as as with the as in. Like, the vibe that I get with them in my dream can go here, like, this tree that I'm in right now, I'm surrounded by leaves, right? Yeah, that's, those are houses, but, surrounded by leaves, right? And, it might not look like it the same as it does to me here, uh, the shape, but, I mean, I can still see... It's like a sphere, you know, I'm standing on a tree and there's a sphere of leaves around it and the bridge work goes out 
and it's just like a sphere of leaves and uh i mean this is a little heart chakra look at i mean look at the color for it this is a little heart chakra uh for the planet what are you what do you what is your uh respiratory system directly linked to your heart uh cardiovascular system uh pretty much uh i had a dream that i was like all this other stuff happened but i at the end or no actually at the midpoint of it i went and uh climbed up like i went i was in this big temple and uh i went up the i don't know if i went upstairs i think i went upstairs but uh anyway i went up and i went up in the tower and uh it was like made out of stained glass i'm still it's not even blowing anymore it was made out of like stained glass and had uh like it was really intricately like plated where it was like a perfect sphere only it was like a whole bunch of uh flat planes you know so it was really really reflective i guess uh really awesome but uh pretty much uh i guess kind of like epcot like nah nah like whenever i thought about it it was kind of like taj mahal the entire temple but that thing I was I don't know I can see it clearly in my head uh kinda I guess <laughs> that's how that is uh it's really that kind of thing where it's so so in there anyway in it going away from the to topic back to the topic in it there was a thing pretty much like this where I ascended the tower and then at the top I there was a bar and it really just went vertical, but this one, whenever I got up here, was in the perfect place. It was what I was holding, and it's the same feeling. It's the same feeling that I generated in that dream of uh, grabbing the bar at the top of the tower, covered in the sphere. And pretty much, like, the light was taken in, I was the activator of the sphere that... That pretty much was a little sun on Earth, just like our sun is a little galactic center, you know, like light is reflected light reflected light and uh yeah i made a really big sun like it was like a little center and it pretty much burst out all of the colors and it was just like pretty much like i don't know like a super super fire <laughs> that's how i'm gonna give you it it was just a super fire of the of the sun's energy coming down and as well as uh myself operating it and saying okay like <laughs> get big make it make it right i've also learned uh making it big there are different uses in everything uh your vibration uh visualization your vibration uh you can your vibration can become like stagnant if you have one if you have one chakra that you're using too much you know then it's it's like a uh, somebody was telling me Avatar and I, I feel like this is the same thing as Avatar but I have it in my head now like uh, just thinking you know if you move we also move stuff out at the Indian mounds here locally in the river that did the same thing but uh so I guess it's experience uh, whenever you move like things in the river that make the river slow like if there's say something like clogging up the river you unclog the river well then a pool generally develops there it's not like that tightness that's there really creates the flow like how all the things are saying don't go well the water consciousness humans I mean metaphors for everything just also look at things as metaphors but uh we will flow we will prevail through all of our blockages and obstacles right so same thing goes for your chakras you have this one bit that's that's uh i mean blockages are different than having a pool you say you super unblock your i mean it's yeah think about it you unblock your chakra and then you just have all this uh energy for that chakra will unblock your other chakras because you it's not very healthy to have it accumulate in one place you'll realize you'll start getting less things done but hey wait back to what i was saying that's one, uh, okay, uh, that's one visualization just flowing through you, but, uh, pretty much I was going to say, uh, 
when it comes to bigger is better, bigger is not always better. You might be activating your chakras and making them vibrate. You might be visualizing big spheres that make them vibrate. Uh, big spheres, you know, all up and down your body. However, you look at things in this world and how they've become. People are shorter now than they've been. Uh, devices are getting smaller and smaller. Houses, <laughs> I mean, my house feels pretty small compared to what I feel used to, but shit. <laughs> That's, I mean, used to. This is my world, right? This is my home, right? My own. But, uh, yeah, visualizing uh, things like expanding your field. Like, you can expand your field and expel all blockages, and then just the same, you can, uh, like, right after that, make it small and bring it in. But just think about how much, like, think about it being super big and just being really small, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the same energy, only it's in a smaller space. So it would be really vibrating faster, right? Yeah. Uh, that's my terminal, or my, uh, thought space at least my blam 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 uh let's see here 1133 um there there's there are so many visualizations that you can do that will help you uh Dero mentioned in one of his videos uh for astral projection he was talking about at one point thinking of yourself being on a roller coaster like I used to do that whenever I was in like fourth grade with some of my friends up the street and like that was whenever I first started experiencing like things like I think about it now and it's like I mean I've I've had the static in my field for a while like the I don't mean static like something blocking but I mean the the staticiness of what everything looks like uh I guess seeing the ions seeing the electricity I don't know but uh, I mean, like, actually thinking about it in depth, like, what is this? Like, I've passed by it, by it so many times, but I can remember being in school and having that roller coaster thing. Like, we would close our eyes and just pass around who was controlling, like, what the roller coaster was doing. And, uh, it was like at my friend's house, we just pass around the idea, and it was a fun game. And it was the bus. But, uh, Yeah, um, oh, I just realized that this old guy's been listening to me record this over there, but, uh, uh, yeah, visualizations like that, accompanied with your own feelings, you have feelings that are, you know, already in your mind that are just waiting there for you to pick up and say, this is what I'm running with right now, and, uh, I mean, it, every, your subconscious records everything, and it's all ready to be relayed and used like you just have to realize it and bring your awareness to that uh there's so many things that you can use and it's really all about your imagination uh i mean for some people their imagination can go as far to say science and they become scientists so i mean it's still your imagination like every single thing uh don't let anything that other people tell you let you let that discredit you because you are real and your experience is not is not any less valid than anyone else's um yeah i didn't really have a lot of time on here i got 15 minutes but uh i just wanted to get that out with this one i'll probably be posting another one pretty soon because i i've like i was getting on here and trying to uh I said that I was trying to speak my way a little bit better so uh, people could understand easier, but uh, didn't really do that too much and didn't really care, but now here it is, I have it here and it's for you, with love and Merry Christmas, as in like the... Divine Feminine, I don't know, have an abundant and awesome 
and love feeling awesome Christmas, awesome everything, whatever it is. Awesome winter because it's refreshing and I love it. But uh, <laughs> look around yourself and you don't really even have to imagine if you're truly looking around yourself. There are things everywhere for you to see that are just beautiful and there to remind you that this world is so beautiful. And the more people that can see that and that can spread that, the more we can do with each other. We have to work together and let, let everybody know that because people forget and they become blind. So, blind to what? Shit. Blind to what I can see, and I can see love and beauty. So, anyway, 